Hey survivors, Skippy0330 with you here. So this week on Icarus, the final beta weekend 7 before the December 4th release, Icarus held a contest for best building and highest building. So we're going to go for those this weekend and this is what we have built in preparation for that. So let's go down here a little bit. I'll show you guys uh, from the ground. We can see, I think, most of our builds. I just got to keep an eye out. Uh, I do apologize. I'm, I'm experiencing some frame rate losses. I think we overbuilt a little bit, so um, it's starting to get a little bit laggy. Now, this is a drop. Normally, you'd build this on something called an outpost, which is a constant survival play, but uh, in this beta weekend, we didn't have it. So unfortunately, we are gonna see this build disappear once this is all over. So it's kind of sad, but at least we'll have it in video. Now, if we look, we can see all of our homes on the top ridge, that is Kara's home over there, uh, Trin's home over there. Big shout out to those two for all the help this weekend. Uh, that's my house over there. We got the kitchen and greenhouse right there and our main production facility up there. So let's go uh, across that bridge and check this out. By the way, we built this all across these waterfalls here. Right up this way, check this out. A waterfall up there, another waterfall up there. It looks pretty fantastic. So I just crossed this uh, bridge over here and this is pretty much the main entrance to our little village that we had set up. So if we go up the set of stairs right here, this is our production building. We'll go around the outside here first. Nice little wrap around veranda. We didn't put handrails up because they're very expensive. And I didn't like, uh, we didn't, it was just, I think the open concept was a little nicer. A little more dangerous, but a little nicer. Anyway, so let's go and check out inside here. Now, there's really nothing too spectacular about this building. It's your average, uh, average big space. But we did add these double doors in just like that. I think those look fantastic. Open the place up nice. So this is basically where we make every single thing. Kind of cool, right? There we go. Oh, and check these out, guys. They added these in, these leather curtains. I think they look absolutely fantastic. Next up, as we exit our main production building over here, uh, is our little lean-to over on this side. We made a little bit of a metal roof over there. Uh, we had intended to put more wood up in it, but we ran out of time and we ran out of resources and just didn't feel like putting wood under there for a video, which makes a lot of sense. So this is our kitchen over here. This is that glass structure you've seen uh, hanging over the ledge. This is my favorite building, I think. Uh, I both created that building and this building and the, the stair system through this place. Uh, so once again, big shout out to them for doing all the gathering and helping to get that done. But yeah, and here we have, of course, our main table. There are bowls to eat on, of it, uh, on it. And we have our kitchen utilities. Also some more of these nice windows too. And we have a huge greenhouse in here. Well, it's not huge, but it's a good size if you know how expensive glass is. And we have uh, some plants actually growing. We got to use some crops this time around. So Trin did the uh, the crops and everything, so that's pretty damn cool. And the whole greenhouse itself has a beautiful view of the valley down below. Like, look at that view. You can even see uh, some of our homes from in here, too. I think this uh, this view looks absolutely fantastic. So this is hands down my favorite little building on uh, in our village. Okay, so next uh, up is we have to go up these flight of stairs. That's going to lead us right up to where all of our homes are. These views are amazing, guys, by the way. Like, look at this right here. This Trin's house right over there. That's her classic house. She likes to set that one up every single time. Uh, we got our metal roof over there. We got our production building, our kitchen. And, like, look at the distance from here. I can even pick off animals. Like, look at that. I just donked that elephant right in the head, and there's nothing it can do about it at all except for a scream down there. And that's all it can do. Just scream away. All right, so let's go ahead and go up a couple more flights of stairs here very carefully. Don't want to fall off those ledges. Oh, look at that. You guys see that? I'm so glad I caught that on video. Uh, for some reason, the animals are spawning in the air and falling to their death. So we end up with a ton of corpses down there and a whole ton of predators like the, uh, the hyena that is way over there. If you guys can see it over there. Oh, oh. Oh, there, <laughs> there's another one landed right in behind Trin's house. Oh, that's so funny. I'm glad I was actually able to catch that. It's such a weird glitch. But this is where all our homes are. So we got my house. We got Kareth's house over there. Not Carrot, Kareth. My auto spell always does Carrot. But let's go and check out Trin's house here uh, first. 
Always keep a knife for falling animals. I don't want to get injured by those. So she has a nice little modest house over here. She has her little work table with her chair and nice little table over here. And check these out, glass windows. These are actually really, really nice. I like those. Another uh, new addition. And there's also this too. We have uh, leather curtain doors. If you go like this, you can go through it. And uh, the bedroom's up in here. Like, look at that. Look at that view she has. She can overlook like the entire city from here. See my house from there and a little bit of Karis. And on top of that, she has a view of the whole valley here. <laughs> I love it. This house is fantastic. Okay, let's go check my place out. All right, here we go. So here's my place. It kind of hangs off. It's just a dual level. These are, uh, I wanted to keep it small and modest. Really didn't need too much. So I got a table up in here. Like I said, didn't really need too much. Got a uh, great view from up here. Like, look at that. See the greenhouse from down here? The height's insane. It's fun too, because every once in a while, if you get a really, really good shot, uh, you can pick off wildlife from up here and you, you get that kill cam. Uh, but I'm actually running out of arrows, so I'm going to choose not to do that. So if we go down here, I have a little bit of a derby ladder attached there, but my bed is down here and I have a pane glass windows with, once again, another beautiful view of the valley. Uh, if we look right down this way, we can see right through a valley right there and the mountains right up top there. Like, it's just an absolutely stunning view. So this is my place, guys. Like I said, nice and modest, you know, not too crazy. Wanted to add some landscape into it as well. So uh, there's not really too much you can do with this style of building, really. It's uh, like the whole base floor and wall type stuff. But uh, we managed to pull some stuff together, make it look a little bit unique, I think. And this is Kara's place here. I actually haven't seen it since we finished it. And uh, it seems there's a missing piece up there. I'm sure he intended uh, to fill that in. I'm not sure what happened there. So we'll ignore that. Sorry, Gareth. It looks great otherwise, though. You just got a gaping hole in your place. Oh, look where he put his bed. That's actually really, really neat. Oh, my lantern's out of fuel. Uh, and he has a giant little mezzanine down here. He has his uh, fire. I don't even have a fireplace in mine. Uh, he has a wood table, and look at this beautiful view he has. Uh, we were running out of supplies, so that's why I think he uh, just hobbled some of these parts together. I, I understand why, though. Concrete's incredibly expensive, and uh, it's getting very late. We need to get this submitted. But there we go, Karen. That looks excellent, dude. Uh, considering it's off the side of a cliff, too, so we're hanging off the side of a cliff right now. I think that looks uh, pretty damn cool and keeps within the spirit of our build. But uh, let's go up top here. We'll jump on top of Carrot's place. There we go. And uh, take one last final view here of Weekend 7 Building Competition. This is our, uh, it's our little village. I'm going to miss it. We put a lot of effort, a lot of time into it this weekend. We had a blast. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the full release. So if you guys like to see us, maybe you get a chance. Hit the like button down below. I really do appreciate it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I'll see you over on Discord. Or in the next video, guys, have a good one and stay classy.